Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 7.3.6 Clapback, Hubris and Combat Deja Vu. Now, the, there's quite a few different nodes and there's a very lengthy description. I'll make it very simple for you guys. Bring in your science champions that have a lot of debuffs. Or bring in champions that can easily apply power stings. So the more power stings you have on the opponent, the more damage they will take from Hubris and you will be able to kill off the defenders easily. Now there is a key synergy here. If you have Mr. Fantastic along with your uh, She-Hulk, that is a really good synergy that will work on this path. So you can bring that along. And for your mastery, if you have Resonate, those extra weakness will work really well here. And be careful about combat deja vu. Anytime you hit the same basic attack twice in a row to the defender, he will go unblockable for 6 seconds. And finally there is clapback. So if you're going to use a champion that applies a poison, shock, bleed, incinerate or plasma, make sure that he is himself immune to that. Some good examples are going to be Abomination OG and Human Torch. Both are poison. They apply poison and incinerate respectively, but they are immune to them. So I hope that is clear guys and we are going to do uh, Kang here with the node uh, Conquer the Conqueror. So more on him later in the video. For your masteries, I would highly suggest you to remove near suicide masteries and go into this without any suicides. Because you will need all of those special against Kang and you will lose a lot of health if you don't have them. So having said that guys, before we jump into that, before we jump into the path, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications all of that really helps me a lot now the first part is going to be against a loki i am going to use a human torch here then you will notice every time i parry there is going to be two sting uh, two type of power stings one is going to be from the node and uh, from hubris and the second one is going to be from the synergy i have with mr fantastic and she hulk so just keep that in mind all you need to do is to build up some of those uh, power stings and let them throw a special and you will notice a huge chunk of damage they will take after the special attack so yes guys this part is all about having those stings active on the defender give them a special to throw and let them throw the special so they can take damage from backfire so that's about it guys pretty straightforward fight most of the champions are going to be uh, mystic champions you can use human torture any uh, science champion just be careful about combat deja vu you just saw loki went and blockable for six seconds so i had to just stay back and run out the clock and once you have done you can easily bring him down Next defender is going to be a Hyperion. Now Hyperion has an issue that he will throw a lot of specials and he will gain a lot of power. So you can bring in a size champion that has either a taunt on him or it can either do a petrify debuff so either they can make him throw his specials or control his power. So Void is a good option here. You can also bring in Mr. Fantastic. She-Hulk I'm going to use. I'm going to stack up those spurries so that will taunt Hyperion to keep throwing those SP1s. You can also bring in Anti-Venom, Spider-2099 and also spider ham is a really good option for this path so here all i'm going to do i will not stack much of those um, i will not stack much of those power stings but i'm going to use the furies of she hulk to my advantage and taunt him and just keep throwing my specials but every time i throw a special i will apply a power sting and then when he hyperion will use a special he will get damage back from backfire and also hubris so that will kill him off will be a little slower fight with she hulk but you can use other champions as well remember the duration of the power sting from break uh, backfire will be increased for the number of debuffs that you have on your opponent so if you bring in a champion like anti venom or void that do apply a lot of debuffs or like mr fantastic the duration of the power sting will be prolonged and you can easily easily push the defender to a special one or special two and when they throw it they will take extra damage from backfire and that's how you can complete the whole path science champions with if preferably with uh, by she hulk and mr fantastic synergy and you can just make them throw specials on the power stings Thank you. 
the next defender is going to be a dragon now man now he is going to be the first annoying defender because not only you will have to take care about the power gain you do not want to be cornered on your side because then he will do a lot of damage with his heavy attacks because of the corner debuff on you so all you need to do is to keep him on his side i like to use a tanky champion somebody like captain america infinity war and just block his sp1 so he does not get power gain and then use my heavy attack to create distance and stay back during the unblockable now you can avoid the unblockable totally by just using a parry medium and light combo throughout if you've been using uh, if you're doing if you've been doing mixed master node in war you're very well aware how to go about this node if not you can also bring in champions like falcon that can also work not to worry about the unblockable but that will not work with the other combination of the node so it has to be a science champion and uh, easily just build up to an sp3 and keep it if you need to get if you need to get out of the corner apart from that just parry and heavy and you should be okay try to block off the specials so that a power gain is in control or otherwise just bring in a champion that has petrify a lot of debuffs and you, that can also work here or human torch is also an option you can use the nova flames and you can bring in and that can apply a lot of power stings and you can easily kill off dragon man uh, very quick so if you have a human torch dragon man is a good fight to have that pre uh, fight activated next defender is going to be an iron man infinity war now the only uh, pain point here is going to be when he goes down to 15 percent he will get a lot of armors and he will get a lot of power very quick one of the best options here is going to be void you can also use champions like anti-venom or mr fantastic also works just try to have your petrify on him when he gets to that that low so he does not get, gain that crazy power and go to an sp3 apart from that his special 2 and special 1 are easily available so you should be really fine doing this fight just be careful about the last 15 person and you will be good to go
and then you have a very easy black widow clay wine to deal with already you're using size champions all you need to do is to apply those power stings and debuffs and the, she will throw a special and she will take damage from hubris and backfire one for the power string second uh, power sting second for the hubris it's a pretty straightforward and easy fight i have just brought in miles morales i've just uh, duped him learning to play with him you can use any science champion it is one of the easier fights of the path The final fight before the boss is going to be a Heimdall. Now again he's very easy to deal with, just bring in any science champion that has power stings or that can apply a lot of debuffs and then with the parry you can get the power stings. And when he will use the special attack, the power sting will explode and that will get extra damage 100% when it explodes and an extra 250 because of hubris. So again the same concept, any science champion, if you do have synergy with the she hulk and mr fantastic that will help you out just only one thing with heimdall do not push him to an sp2 and try to kill him off with only one attacker because if you die he will get a power gain on the next one and he can just go to an sp2 right away and kill you off with that his sp2 does a lot of damage so just be wary about that apart from that it's a pretty straightforward and easy fight and uh, that's about it guys that's how you can run the path and i'll see you at the boss fight Now the boss fight is going to be against a gang with the node conquer the conqueror if you see in the top left of the screen there is an icon for dex and there is also an icon for parry these are your charges that you can use if you run out any one of those charges you are power locked for six seconds and that affects your ability to go against kang now if you want a more detailed guide on kang just go on youtube and write makok noob 7.3.6 easy path in that one i go through a full detail of this but i'll just run through very quick on the top right of the screen you will get different prompts that are uh, you need to fulfill you will throw that corresponding special attack so you can get a power charge on yourself and if you get enough power charges for every phase you will wound kang and you can do the damage now right now you will note that there's a purple and gray icon there is says two i need three of them in this first phase so i can uh, break the power loop and put kang in a wounded position and i can start hitting him just there he's gone and wounded now the first way i have to bring him down to 90 percent so this first phase is mostly for you guys to get used to the uh, this mechanism that is called the power loop if you still don't understand it on the right side of the screen i have a screen uh, i have explained the power loop so have a look in that once you go from the first phase the second phase is again the same one right on second phase you need four power charges that you get by completing the prompts on the power loop so right now it says i have to use special one i just used it and i got one power charge right there now i have to go to an sp3 now i can gain power by dexing his specials or by hitting him if i do dex his sp1 for every beam i dex i get power gain and i can easily get to an sp3 same the hardest part here is to go from zero bars of power to three bars of power but if you use a heavy attack that can help you pause the timer 
so that also goes to your advantage so if you notice right now i have three power charges i have to have zero uh, bars of power on me so there are two ways i can do that one is i can block the specials from kang and every time a block is sp1 i get power drain i can go below two bars of power or i can keep using my special both works it's upon you but i would highly suggest you just to uh, block the sp1 beams and you should be able to manipulate your power very easily remember this is phase 2 90 to 51 percent hp so your power gain from xp1 uh, decks will be 51 percent more so if kang will throw a sp1 and your deck it it will be very easy for you to go to an sp3 and your special attack cost is also reduced by 50 percent for you and for kang as well so just be wary about that and i'll see you on phase 3 of the kang fight Phase 3 is the hardest one, I uh, I always have trouble in this one to a point where I have not soloed Kang even once in all of my tries, I've already explored 7.3 so that's okay, just make sure you bring in the right champions to deal with him if not you can always revive and you can go in again because when you revive your power charges are uh, taken up to the next fight so for example if your champion dies at 4 power charges and you need 6 to wound Kang and do some damage so if you die there as an attacker the 4 power charges will still be on you and you can revive and you can get back in the fight and you will only need to do 2 more power charges and you should be able to wound Kang. So having said that in phase 3 the difficult thing is that if you use the same type of uh, finishing attack uh, combo and twice in a row you will be power drained 50% of your uh, power so for example if you finish a combo with medium attack and you do the next one again with medium attack you will be power drained by 50% and also it's in the second phase you were gaining power every second just like Doctor Strange does but here you are losing power every second so you have to keep a lookout on that the hardest part here is, is going to be throw an sp3 to throw an sp3 you just get to three bars of power and you will notice you won't be able to getting a sp3 so you will have to use a three or five with combo and use an sp3 three as soon as you get it and that's about it guys that's all the difficult pain points here Highly suggested champion here is going to be a Hyperion because of his natural power gain so he will run through this fight very quick guys. So I hope this helps. Again if you need a more detailed information on this fight check out 7.3.6 easy path against Kang and that would give you a more detailed ex explanation and a step by step fight throughout the whole Kang fight.
and once you have kang down to phase 4 that would be 2% to 0% hp here you just need it's a race the power loop will not be there but once you're near kang you will gain power and once you're away from him he will gain power faster than you so whoever goes to an sp3 first you have to throw that the only damage you can take is from sp3s so you just have to be a little patient to get a good rotation on the uh, intercepts and then you're good champions like hyperion work here the champions like uh, corvus can work here as well or you know, or champions like the ghost rider are really good who have natural power gain and then you should be able to get to an sp3 faster so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications all of that really helps me a lot and helps me grow the channel apart from that i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time